Hi, I'm Lewis Jones. I'm an application specialist with Mamaki USA. I'm gonna be running through some tips and tricks on how to get a design file ready to cut on one of our CG cutters using Illustrator and Fine Cut. I'll be cutting on the CG 130FX Plus. The speed of this rule-based cutting plotter makes it a perfect pair with our printers. The typical workflow for this machine is printing an image from a design file on a printer, then taking that media to the cutter, then load the same design file with cut lines into Fine Cut, and letting the machine know the sections that you want to cut out of the media. You can then step and repeat this process for however many copies you have on the roll of media. The first thing I like to keep in mind when creating my art files is the size of the artwork relative to the pinch rollers and the media that I'll be working with. Whatever crop marks you have printed need to fit between the outer pinch rollers on the cutter, or else you're going to get an error message when you execute. So measure out your media, adjust the crop marks, and make that the size of your artboard in your design software. For example, the width of the media I'll be working with is 54 inches. So, adjusting for the pinch rollers, I'll make the artboard of my design file at most 46 inches wide. Your crop marks need to be printed with your artwork, so set up your cut lines at the same time. It saves you time and it makes it easier to check that you have no repeating lines or any objects with the same spot color as your cut lines. Create an object in Illustrator, and with that object selected, use Rasselink tools to transform it into a cut line. Once you have your art file ready and your media loaded into the CG cutter, open Fine Cut and make sure you've selected the appropriate model. Then it's time to make your crop marks. I make sure all my cut lines are on a separate layer. This limits the amount of chances the vector art or clipping mask interfere with my cut lines. On the separate layer, create a box with no fill or stroke color. With this blank box selected, I open up Fine Cut Tools for Illustrator and open the Register Mark Creation section. If you're working on clear, translucent, or hard to read material, this is the time to use the Fill Around Registration Marks button to make the marks more visible. Check the connection between your printer and the plotter. In Fine Cut, under Communication, test your communication port. If you don't receive a message saying correct, try unplugging and replugging the cables you're using to connect your computer to the plotter. And make sure the plotter is in remote. Once Fine Cut is open, go to the Layout tab. If you place your media in backwards and you haven't used ID Cut, use the green arrow key to turn the artwork accordingly. Fine Cut mimics the layers that you had set up in your design file, so make sure any layer with artwork is turned off. Only cut lines and crop marks should be visible in the preview window. Once that's done, I go to the Register Mark tab and I select Plot at the top. When the Plot Cut window pops up, I always use the Preview button 
to play a video of the path the cutter will take. This preview should show any repeats or double cuts that I have in my design file. Then I'm ready to cut. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative and feel free to come to Mamaki with any questions you may have on the subject.